Oh, I don't know about you all, but I really like, I enjoy getting new things. And I don't always enjoy spending my money, but sometimes it feels nice, you know, get something new. Well, I like getting things that are related to movies, like uh, posters and such. Well, the other day I got like this little statue of a character from a movie, and I didn't have it a couple days, and I broke that thing. You know, I was, I was really upset, but then I started thinking about, and if you turn to Matthew 19, and uh, it was somebody this past week read this scripture as well, so it'll sound familiar. But Matthew 19, starting in verse 21. And what happens right before this is a rich young man asked Jesus, you know, what he could do to gain eternal life. And Jesus tells him, you know, keep my commandments. And the young man says, well, I've done that. And... Jesus goes on to tell him, and starting in verse 21, he says, Jesus said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. But when the young man heard that saying, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, Verily I say unto you, that a rich man shall hardly enter enter into the kingdom of heaven. And again I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. We should never let earthly possessions get in the way of our relationship with Christ. And for a lost person, understand that nothing compares to relationship with Jesus. And because unlike things that we have on earth that break and will one day be in the trash, Jesus will never leave us or forsake us. And if you turn to Hebrews 13, let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as ye have. For he hath said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. And our relationship with Christ is a gift that is everlasting. And like I said back in Matthew 19, 21, he tells us that we're promised treasures in heaven. And I bet you that they're a lot better than the things we can get here on earth. So instead of worrying about these earthly possessions that bring us temporary satisfaction, let's follow Christ because He promises us an everlasting gift. Mm-hmm.